Looking from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Lay me down behind the moon, tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't wanna wait no more. We could be dancing in the stars, we could be floating all the way. As long as I'm safely in your arms. And it don't really matter where we stay Don't cause space Space, space, space Food all time So I got this I'll put all the prices on the screen So I've got wholemeal bread 2 pints of semi skimmed milk British beef mince 20% fat So 500 grams Vegetable medley Medium chilli cooking sauce Because I thought this would be really good to bulk up To just add some flavour to some things And it wasn't too expensive and I really like chilli and I'm not buying any other sauces or any other spices so I thought this would be a really good compromise. A tin of peeled plum tomatoes, everyday essentials baked beans, mixed beans in water, everyday essentials long grain rice, everyday essentials porridge oats, peanut butter. This week I had to get tea because I drink tea every single day and I can't use any tea bags or anything that we already have so I thought I would go for green tea because I always have green tea and although I do love an Earl Grey tea, slightly more expensive so I just thought I'll go for the green tea and it also means that I won't be using any of the milk that I'll be using for my porridge so got 40 I think 40, 40 bags of green tea bag of essential carrots there's a lot of carrots in here baked potatoes like a bag of potatoes and then finally just another tin of baked beans four bananas which I'm gonna have to ration over this week and two onions which I didn't get from Aldi I got these from Tesco because the loose leaf onions are 10p in Tesco so I got two of these but the ones in Aldi, they were, I think, 59p, and they came in a pack of three, and I, I couldn't afford that. So, yeah, I've just got two loose leaf onions, and the total comes to £9.94, so I, I was under budget. So, this is everything. It is actually quite a lot. So, I kind of vaguely know what my meals will be. I did kind of think it through before I went, so I hope that... I'm not going to get bored, but it's a challenge this week and we're going to see how how I get on. Today's day one and I only bought the stuff today. Yeah, I'm not organised at all, so I bought it all today. And it's at actually 5 to 12. So usually I would have porridge uh, for breakfast. I always have porridge pretty much every day for breakfast. If you watch my vlogs, you know that. But I'm not feeling porridge today. And because it's basically lunchtime, I think I'm just going to go for a kind of like a brunch. Okay, what, what brunch with this? I think I'm going to go for some baked beans on toast. Um, without the butter though, because I, <laughs> I can't afford butter. So I'm gonna see what this bread tastes like and what these baked beans taste like. Okay, so I'm really hungry since I haven't had breakfast either. So I thought, first I thought I'd just use half of the tin and then I thought, no, I'm really hungry. I'm gonna use all of it. And <laughs> it's very liquidy. I think it's more, definitely a lot more liquidy than the Heinz baked beans. Um, this is the situation, like it's literally gonna overflow from the plate. Let me just try the beans. Not bad, you know? Yeah, I really can't taste the difference. And these are just 22p. Hello everyone, we are gonna make some biscuits, some cookies as a snack. So I have got a three ingredient recipe. I'm just gonna use one of my four bananas, um, some peanut butter and oats. And we're gonna hope that this works. Um, the recipe asked for two bananas, but I can't afford to give, <laughs> to give two of my four bananas to the biscuit cookie cores so I'm just halving the recipe and hopefully I mean it's literally three ingredients so they might not even taste nice but um let's see this is what they look like I've just done random ball sizes I'm just gonna pop them in and see how they turn out so because I can't have a mug of <laughs> black tea and I don't fancy another mug of green tea I've gone for just the humble hot water which is kind of sad but i fancy something warm with this biscuit and i think i might have left these in a tad too long but they seem edible and hard and they're still together they look cookie like so let's try to be honest with you there's not a huge amount of flavor um <laughs> the texture is quite nice it just kind of tastes like you get a few hints of the peanut butter we can't really taste anything else I think it's definitely missing sugar or syrup or even honey. If I put honey in here, 
it would be sweeter than it is. I'm just making dinner. I struggled to open this jar of chili cooking sauce, but it does smell very good. So this is my substitute for all the spices I would usually put into the dish. So I'm gonna put some in. I put the beans in, as you can see. There's quite a lot of those. So they're in. I'm boiling some water to put the carrots in and the other some other bits from the frozen veg. So I can put them in once they're cooked. And yeah, I'm just gonna put maybe two tablespoons of this in there, maybe even more, and then put the put the plum tomatoes in as well. I'm sorry, what? Is this the tin or is it me? Like I just I don't know why I can't <laughs> I don't know why I can't why does this happen? Take a start on some things. And now I'm more open to it. Okay. In large part for aesthetic reasons. Where the phone I think it's late. It, it's more interesting you say I think the way we treat on the right. You guys, this actually smells so nice. I'm just waiting for the rice to finish cooking. And then I can dig into my dinner. Dinner, day one, and day two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably. But it's looking good. I'm very excited to dig in. Let's do a taste test. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. This is one of my go-to dishes when I want to bulk meal prep and it's just full of healthy food, beans, veg, and meat. And then also it's spicy and it's full of flavor. That's what I was gonna say, it's full of flavor. So let's try the Audi cheaper version than what I would usually cook. Mmm, not bad at all. It tastes really good. Really good, actually. I think I'm going to enjoy this meal for the next <laughs> six days because this is really good. And I made a lot, which is what I mainly planned on doing, which is why I bought certain ingredients because it was for this specific dish I had in mind because I knew it would last me for the whole week. And when I was planning the meals and stuff, I didn't think... I did think about doing pasta dishes and just boring pasta, but... They don't have any flavour and I wanted to try and make sure I still got a meal that I could look forward to that was full of flavour and healthy and this also had meat in it so yeah this is definitely ticking the box so very glad about this, very glad that I made this dish a priority. <laughs> Breakfast day two. I've just popped them on a paper towel so that the oil can soak through and taken off. But these look so yummy. I've never actually made homemade french fries, but. Mmm, they taste good. I don't know why I'm so chuffed with these, but I think it's just I've never made them before. But they taste so good. Look at these chips. Oh. Day three, and I've got chips in the oven as well as a little snack. I'm sorry, but look how good these look. Good morning, everyone. Or is it, it was kind of afternoon, but I've we've got a little brunch situation again going on because <laughs> I keep waking up really late. So um, I've got the baked beans going, got the toast in the oven. I also chopped up another potato, and you will see in this vlog, I'm obsessed with these fries. So got chips going in the oven, which are almost ready as well. I'm excited to eat because I'm so hungry. I've gone for half the tin of baked beans. Look at those crispy boys. I'm so excited to tuck into this. 
Look at those, they look so good. My hair always irritates me as soon as I wash it because it's just so, oh, it's just so annoying. And these front bits, I just, I'm getting sick of them. So I just finished the brunch and, oh my God, those chips have been life-changing. I think I wanna say life-changing. Am I gonna go that far? But they're just beautiful and they're so quick and easy to make and I've made them I think almost every day since I discovered the recipe, but honestly, they are so good. Just got back from town and it was so nice just cycling in. The weather today has been absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I thought I'd include this little clip because it's quite nice and I haven't spent any money. I went and got my free Krispy Kreme. And then mum, bless her, she treated me to a chai latte. So I had a hot warm drink as well. And I, I, did, I didn't spend any money on it. So I'm still within my £10 this week. But yeah, I'm back. I'm, I've got some green tea. I honestly miss black tea. Also yesterday, very cheekily, very cheekily, ate all of the biscuits or cookie biscuits that I had left the oat, the oat peanut butter and banana ones I think I had I had left one for every day so I think I had four more left and I ate them all yesterday in bed watching YouTube it was really bad so I was gonna make some more today because I have a banana spare if I don't use it in my porridge tomorrow and I didn't have porridge today so it was fine so I could just make another batch but I'll see how I feel dinner day four just the standard beef dish with rice Honestly though, I keep thinking maybe I should have bought a packet of biscuits and taken out something like the other baked bean tin because I am really craving something sweet and I have nothing really sweet that I can make. So <laughs> it's really sad. I really want something sweet and I probably should have thought it through more and have got a pack of biscuits because I probably could have afforded a pack of biscuits if I had factored that in. So I did want <clears throat> something sweet and I've just settled for peanut butter on toast and I've got more tea so yep I just miss sugar and I know I had a donut already today but I don't know I just I really miss something nice something sweet after dinner okay I really don't know why I'm still hungry but my stomach is almost rumbling like I'm definitely definitely hungry it's not just me Im imagining things so I for a peanut butter sandwich I didn't toast it this time because yeah I'm gonna hopefully hopefully this fills me up This is so good. I've demolished it. So, so yummy. Today is just one of those days where <laughs> I don't feel like doing anything, even though I know I've got a few, a couple of things that I know I need to get done. I just can't be bothered. I just feel like I wanna be, it's like really cold and rainy and drizzly outside. And I just wanna be in bed watching, just watching something and just chilling and just relaxing. I don't know. So I'm gonna have some soup, which I actually, so I made this soup, but I haven't actually, had any of it since I made it so I'm gonna have some now that's just I, I feel like I have so much food left maybe I'm just not eating enough food but this week with the 10 pounds a week I feel like I've got a lot of food left so this is a really really thick and creamy potato and carrot soup so I've just watered it down a little bit put some water in there and I'm gonna just heat this up made some more oat peanut butter and banana cookies or biscuits and i only made four this time and i changed i didn't follow any recipe i just kind of did it from what i thought would work <laughs> they, they look okay they look nicer than the other batch i made and i think like, even when i was making them i thought these are probably gonna be better than the first batch so i'm gonna wait for them to cool down and then have them and just relax honestly i just can't wait to go to bed at this point i just want to yeah i just feel unwell I, I really don't know why so this is what they look like they're slightly bigger than the ones before this one looks really good and yeah the mixture was just a lot more wet and like just look nicer and they, they seem nicer to be honest i really just want to try and eat them warm i'm just so impatient i really want to try them mm. these are definitely better it actually has a lot more flavor i like these porridge again we're on day six this looks good though i've Put in peanut butter as I usually do, half a banana, and I have got my green tea there. Having soup and two slices of toast for lunch. It, this soup is only potatoes and carrots, and it just, it really tastes so nice. It's so thick and creamy. It look, it's just, it's really nice and filling. Dinner again today is exactly the same as it has been for the past like, six, five, six days. It is literally just the beef dish with rice and... <coughs> Not gonna lie, I'm getting pretty sick of it, 
but it's only one more day left. <laughs> Chopped up my last potato and made some more chips. Oh, they look so good. Good morning. I'm on my final day of this challenge and not gonna lie, I'm very ready to complete this. But also at the same time, it's been quite nice knowing what I was gonna eat every day. But yeah, got my final breakfast, which is peanut butter and banana porridge again and my mug of green tea. Oh my god, I actually really look quite wrecked today. But anyway, um, my mum has just made lunch, so I'm now really hungry. So I'm gonna warm up, you guessed it, my soup for lunch and have some, some toast with that. Honestly, I really just miss a bit of flavour. I mean, the soup is amazing, but I just miss having a variety of food, like the options. So we're on the last day, but there is a lot of soup left. Like definitely more than one meal in there. So this is the rest of the beef dish that I made. I've just warmed all of it. I haven't made rice or anything today because I just feel like just eating the rest of it. Final day final meal we've done seven days of just eating on a budget of 10 pounds a week oh my god